In the 2015 sci-fi film, The Martian, a marooned astronaut survives on the red planet eating nothing but potatoes. But since there are no real humans on Mars, could a person survive eating nothing but spuds on Earth? The short answer, unless you're stranded with nothing but taters, it's not a good idea. To survive, humans need a plethora of minerals and vitamins, as well as 20 different amino acids. Nine of those amino acids are essential, meaning we can't make them ourselves and we have to get them from food. And obviously, we need water in addition to what we eat to keep ourselves hydrated so they don't wither and die. Technically, the traditional white potato contains all the essential amino acids you need to build proteins, repair cells, and fight diseases and eating just five of them a day would get you there. However, if you sustain on white potatoes alone, you would eventually run into vitamin and mineral deficiencies. That's where sweet potatoes come in. Though these orangey spuds technically belong to a different taxonomic family than white potatoes, eating them increases the likelihood of getting the recommended daily dose of vitamin A, the organic compound in carrots that your mom told you can make you see in the dark, along with vitamin E. Also, no one on a diet of sweet potatoes and white potatoes would get scurvy, a famously horrible disease that happens due to a lack of vitamin C and causes the victim's teeth to fall out. But even with this combo of white and sweet potatoes, you'll still need to eat a lot of them before you intake the right levels of everything your body needs. To avoid a calcium deficiency, you'd have to consume 34 sweet potatoes a day, or 84 white potatoes. You would also need 25 white potatoes a day to get the recommended amount of protein. Of course, there are a lot of health disadvantages to taters, especially when you eat them in bulk. White potatoes are high in a kind of carbohydrate that causes your blood sugar to spike and then dip, which puts a strain on the insulin system. People who eat a lot of these tubers are more likely to get diabetes and become obese, according to multiple studies conducted around the world. That's not to say one can't lose weight by eating only potatoes or just one kind of food. There are plenty of people who have done it throughout history. But that likely has more to do with previous food choices than eating potatoes. Eating less sugar and food overall is bound to result in shedding a few pounds. No nutritionist would get on board with an all-potato diet, nor would they recommend an all-coconut, kale, seaweed, or yogurt one either. There's a reason that U.S. dietary guidelines recommend eating a variety of vegetables, grains, proteins, fruits, and oils. Eat any of these just by themselves and you would soon run into the same nutritional deficiencies that you would with a potato. Variety is important, and in this case, it's vital. So don't eat a plain baked potato. Load it with other healthy stuff too. Maybe even some bacon, as long as it's in moderation. <laughs>